Number eight, vacuum-induced uterine tamponade device for postpartum hemorrhage. The joy of becoming a mother can take an unexpected turn with the unpredictable childbirth complication. Postpartum hemorrhage, or PPH, occurs when the uterus fails to contract to stop the bleeding vessels where the placenta was attached inside the body. This most common cause of PPH is called uterine atony and leads to continued bleeding. To stop the bleeding, mothers experiencing PPH may require blood transfusions, long uncomfortable procedures, or even an emergency hysterectomy, resulting in the loss of fertility. Although the non-surgical use of a balloon to compress bleeding inside the uterus, known as balloon tamponade, has a high success rate, there's a new advancement in the PPH arena. Known as vacuum-induced uterine tamponade, this procedure works more like a woman's body. A device is inserted into the uterus where gentle suction causes it to contract and shrink inside, effectively stopping the bleeding. While the new method is still finding its place in the OB workflow, clinical trials found it controlled bleeding within two minutes in all women tested. As a low-tech solution, potentially translatable to developing countries with low resource availability, vacuum-induced uterine tamponade devices are showing promise to new mothers around the world. Hi, this is Dr. William Morris discussing the number eight vacuum-induced uterine tamponade device for postpartum hemorrhage. Joined with me is expert Dr. Chen, Department Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Cleveland Clinic. Dr. Chen, tell us a little bit more about this procedure and why is it so innovative? Um, the vacuum-induced hemorrhage device is actually a new concept um, that was recently tested out uh, internationally in a few small centers and now uh, just completed a, a clinical trial in the U.S. involving 12 centers. It is actually um, a totally new approach to dealing with uh, postpartum hemorrhage secondary to uterine atony or the failure for the uterus to, to contract. Um, Postpartum hemorrhage is the leading cause for maternal mortality uh, in the world. Um, it also leads to significant morbidities such as acute respiratory distress syndrome, um, disseminated intracoagulation, uh, shock, renal failure, failure, and even infertility. Um, it's also the leading cause of severe mor morbidity in the U.S. And around the turn of the, this century, um, the rate of postpartum hemorrhage actually increased over 26%. Um, the current treatments for postpartum hemorrhage uh, include sort of active management or preventative uh, treatments, such as the use of uh, oxytocin right after delivery, uh, uterine massage. But then, that, then the next uh, treatment um, involves medications that cause the uterus to contract. The third line treatment um, has been uh, different devices, pretty much balloon tamponade devices that actually go in the uterus and are expanded to cause compression of the uterus, uh, the uterine vessels to stop bleeding. The vacuum induced hemorrhage control device is different in that it also goes in the uterus, but actually use vacuum to cause the uterus to con collapse down upon itself. That collapse then causes the muscle of the uterus to compress the vessels um, within the uterus to prevent bleeding. So it's much more physiologic instead of expanding out and pushing against the walls, it causes the uterus to, to collapse and contract and close off the vessels, which would normally happen physiologically. And so it's a totally different approach to the control of hemorrhage um, within the uterus from failure to contract. And, and, and in closing, Dr. Chen, do you see this becoming the gold standard? I think this is going to um, uh, take or replace the use of the balloon compression devices uh, for control of hemorrhage. The recent study that was uh, uh, published in, the, in obstetrics and gynecology showed that it actually had 
a higher rate of efficacy than the blue tamponade in general, and also seemed to be to work much quicker. Within a few minutes, you got control of hemorrhage when it was effective. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Tennant, and sharing this important breakthrough device and why it's so important for these patients. Thank you. Thank you very much.